Welcome to this Let's Talk Meshings tutorial Tuesday, where we show you how to use a feature in just a couple of minutes. In order to ensure you're representing your simulation model accurately, it's important to ensure that the grid points used to estimate that model's surface are constrained to the underlying database. Pointwise provides users the ability to verify that their grid points lie on a surface via the database associativity function. In order to use this database associativity metric, you first select either connector or domain grid entities, and then from the examine menu, select the database associativity. This opens the examine panel with the database associativity function already selected in the type pull-down menu. At the top of the examine panel in the options frame, the number and total percent of grid points that are either on or off a database entity can be viewed in the count and percent columns. The toggle buttons on and off allow control of whether or not to render the grid points in the display window that are on or off these database entities respectively. Points that are projected to a database entity are rendered in green, while points that are not projected to a database entity are rendered in red. Below this table, in the database entities frame, the total number of database entities associated with the currently selected grid entities is shown. Also in this frame, users can specify unique colors for projected grid points and view projection information on a per-database entity basis. The on column indicates whether or not to render the grid points projected to the specific database entity for a given row in the table. The count and percent columns provide the sum and percent of total grid points projected to the specific database entities respectively. You can easily toggle the display of all of the grid points using the corresponding buttons. Keep in mind that Pointwise considers a grid point to be unconstrained from a database entity if the point does not have an explicit reference to a database entity and parametric coordinates. A point flagged as off may actually be within the same point tolerance of the database. Within the display window, you can hover your mouse cursor over a point that is constrained to a database entity and the parametric UV coordinates, along with the name of the associated database entity, will be displayed in the probe area. If you wish to examine other entities, then you can expand the selection frame, click the Begin button, and select a new set of good entities to survey. If you liked this video, then be sure to click the thumbs up button and subscribe to our channel for more videos like this. If you have any questions or comments, then drop us a line down below or connect with us on Twitter using the link in this video's description. Thank you and have a pleasant Tuesday.